Hello everyone, welcome to vlog. I should know what number of vlog this is. Let me look it up really quick. Vlog seven. Welcome to lucky number vlog seven. Um, I realized I didn't, I haven't made a video about my diagnosis slash prognosis. I think I glossed over my diagnosis. Aww. My dog's in my room right now. Apologies if you hear him sniffing or barking or anything. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I haven't made a video about my diagnosis slash prognosis. And I've gone over my diagnosis in a previous vlog at some point. But I think because I didn't really do much research about it back then, um, I didn't really have much to say, I guess. But now that I've looked and searched the entire internet, internet for everything about this tumor, um, I thought I'd do a video where I'd go into detail about it. And yeah. Okay. Sorry, he's kind of whimpering right now. Yeah, so if you just do a quick Google search and look at Wikipedia on what... Um, <clears throat> I have, oh, what I have is a grade 4 glioblastoma multiform. Um, there's an E at the end, so it's like multiforme. And I heard a dude in a video once pronounce the E, <clears throat> but the dude was a British narrator, so I don't know if you actually pronounce the E or not. But the shorthand version of how you say it is a GBM, so I have a grade 4 GBM. And on Wikipedia, it says that it's an aggressive cancer that begins within the brain. Um, there's about three per hundred thousand people uh, who develop the disease a year. And glioblastomas represent 15% of brain tumors. If, if you just do a quick Google search, Wikipedia is not the only thing that just shows up, but a lot of different, um, like different cancer websites and such. And so, some other statistics slash facts I have is that men are more likely to get them, and uh, chances go up with age, which kind of sucks, because, like, I'm not a man, and so, uh, and I'm 19, and so it's kind of, like, got the short end of the stick there, I guess. Uh, people typically know cancer to be staged, not graded. Um, stages are typically used for other types of cancer, not brain cancer, because it describes kind of like where the tumor is located. It depends on where the tumor is located and if it's spread or not, like if it's affecting other parts of the body. While there uh, is no kind of like systematic way of staging brain tumors because they typically don't leave the brain, uh, they're graded instead because or they're graded depending on how cancerous they are and how like other factors about them a glioblastoma uh, typically consists of a mix of cells and so that's kind of why it's hard to treat or they're like the most difficult to treat because they have such a different mix of cells so they respond to different kinds of treatments diff um, differently I'm using the word different a lot and yeah uh, prognosis wise so median survival uh, for oh yeah a median survival is about two to three years uh, with treatment so the first form of treatment obviously is surgery to physically remove the um, tumor and decrease pressure inside the brain or inside the head skull area and then the second form of treatment is radiation which I've already completed and the third f next step of treatment I guess would be chemotherapy with temozolomide um, the shorter name is temodar which is oral pills that you take of chemo and I'm currently doing that right now and you do that for about 6 to 12 cycles so six, around 6 to 12 months yeah uh, what are their statistics? So, the average survival time with treatment is about 12 to 18 months. Um, only 20% of glioblastoma patients survive more than um, one year. 
and only 3% of patients survive more than three years. So prognosis wise, the statistics aren't very uh, bright. And um, yeah, that's why I guess like GBMs are kind of taken like very negatively or it's just like not a good uh, form of cancer to have. So obviously these statistics aren't very positive but the younger you are the more um, likelihood for survival but in the end um, not a very very bright prognosis but you know we like to stay positive and we're doing we me I'm doing the best I can and yeah so other than, I guess that's basically it on diagnosis and prognosis and I will keep on vlogging um, and updating after each cycle of chemo where I get an MRI done and we see the process of whether the tumor has increased or decreased in size or if it's just stayed the same. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. And I will upload another vlog sometime soon. All right. I forgot to mention something. Um, I'm not a doctor. I am not medic qualified in any sort of way other than from the internet and being in and out of hospitals a lot so whatever statistics I read on here and whatever I am vlogging um, I could be wrong yeah I mean like what I'm reading is right I think but don't take my word if you believe that you're affected by this at all. Um, everyone should do their own research and ask their own physician about everything. Yeah, just want to put that disclaimer out there. I am not medically qualified to report any of this as um, fact applicable to all. Yeah, okay, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And yeah, bye-bye.